The Ghana Water Company Limited has begun rationing water supply to Sekendi Takradi municipalities and the Ifia Kwisimintim municipality. This is due to the onset of the dry season, which has resulted in the inadequate water supply to the treatment plant at Inchaban. Uh, according to the company, there is the need to ration the water for even distribution, else some communities may not get any water at all. The Ghana Water Company is unable uh, to... Uh, has zoned in affected areas, is unable to provide all these uh, water in these areas. Let's get live update from our reporter there, Eric Yawije. More of residents and businesses whose daily activities are tied to um, the supplies that they get from the Ghana Water Company Limited. I have with me the Western and Central Region Communications Manager for the Ghana Water Company, Nana Yao Berima Banye. Good afternoon and welcome to Media Live on TV3. Good afternoon, Eric. So this time around, what really is necessitating this rationing program? Yeah, thank you very much. The fact of the matter is that Ghana Water Company Limited in Western Region, specifically in Secondary Chakrali Metropolis, has been rationing water for many years now. The reason for the rationing of the water is that when we enter into the dry season like now, because it does not rain, we do not receive fresh inflows of water into the river basin, that's the Pra River Basin at Dabwas, and also the Anankwara River that has been dammed at Inchaban. We don't have increase uh, in the levels of the water. And because of that, we abstract as much less than normally we abstract. This leads to low production. And because the amount of water we produce is far less than what we normally produce, our customers have difficulty getting water without rationing. So currently, we have divided Takrade into three We'll come to the division. I know that your production points are in Traban and Dabwasi. Tell us the performance currently. Currently, Dabwasi is doing something like 3.1 million instead of uh, 4.6 and above. The, and Chaban is also doing something like 1.8, 1.9, instead of over 2 million gallons of water a day. And because of that, there is a problem with supply. Because the water we produce currently is woefully inadequate, if we allow the water to flow through the pipes as we do all the time, what is going to happen is that those who are close to the um, reservoir are the only ones who are going to get the water and also those whose houses are in low-lying areas. Because of that, there's a need for the company to find an, an ingenious way, an ingenious method by which we can distribute the water for everybody to have their fair share of the supply. Okay. So this is what we are doing now. Okay. Um, when we spoke um, last Friday, you did say that the Boise was doing 35 Yesterday, when I called you, you said that it has dropped to 3.1 million. Now, are we going to get to a situation where the water levels will be such that you will have to shut down your plant? Oh, it has never happened before. Last year, the rains did not come in early at all, but we never shut down the plant. Whatever the case, we will manage as professionals. And as a company with, with one of the best engineers you know, in the field, we will manage to be able to get at least some water for our consumer. And that is why we need to ration, just like I've said. So this is what we are doing. The supply, the production is going down and down because with each passing day, the water level is going down. And as the water level goes down, it means your capacity to abstract much water also goes down because mm. the more water there is in the reservoir, the, the more water there is at the intake point, the more you are able to abstract for treatment. So as I said, we have divided Takrade metropolis into three different areas. We have the Takrade north, Takrade south. Then we have the energy west line and west energy residential area. Why this division? It is for the purpose of the rationing. So that this, every area has a particular number of days within which they receive water. Mm -hmm. So if you don't divide them and you allow them to, the water to go, only a few people will get those who are lucky. Right. Is it, is it, to, is it, is, is it your way of ensuring that there is equity? Because you, you did say that for some of the residents, they live very close to the reservoir and others very far away from the reservoir. Exactly for the purpose of equity. 
you know, we are supposed to serve all our customers. There shouldn't be any preferential treatment. Okay. That's exactly what we have done this division of Takradi. So, um, Takradi North, as I said, receive water on Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. So, every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, Takradi North receives their water. Takradi South receives water Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Okay. But the unfortunate thing is that sometimes when it gets to a particular location stand, there could be light off. For example, just last Sunday, Takradi North, where I live, it was supposed to get water. But there was no pipe, sorry, there was no power, so we couldn't serve them with water. And then Anaji and West Line and then West Anaji residential area, they get water only on Wednesdays. When, only Wednesdays because the location where these areas are, are is the place where our transmission pipeline passes. Okay. So even though we may not be serving them on those other days, because the transmission pipe passes through these communities, they will always get water when we are serving the other areas. Okay. So this is what Ghana Water Company in Western Region is doing, so that at least every customer will get some amount of water. But let me add, some people are painting the picture as of a crisis situation. In fact, it is not so. Eric, you live in Takra with scary. me. It, it shouldn't be scary. It shouldn't scare anybody. It's just for in fact, we did the announcement so that customers will know the days on which their water will flow so they can store water. And I advise everybody who is listening to me, watching me, to endeavor, who, are in, who is in Takrali, to endeavor to have storage, enough storage, so that you can store as much water as you can. So that during those days when your water may not be flowing, you can rely on that water that you have stored before the water that the turn gets to you again for you to receive water. Do you know when this ration program will end? That one, I cannot tell. I think it is only the Meteorological Services Agency who are in a position to tell us when the rains are likely to come in. Because it is only when the rains set in and we are able to receive adequate quantities of water, then we can abstract as much as we can so there will be no need for rationing. So I will not be able to say now. So if, for instance, um, we finish this first quarter and we don't get the rains, we enter into the second quarter and don't get the rains, it means that there's a possibility that the levels will drop such that there's, we are going to hit crisis. Well, I think you are only um, guessing. The rains will most of the time come by April. And I'm sure by April everything will be okay. They will not go into May, June when there's no water. It won't get there. Okay, thank you very much. So that is Nana Berima. Banier, the Western Central Regions Communications Manager for the Ghana Water Company. He has assured residents here that the situation is not there. Eric Yawaji, TV3 News, Takradi.